Imagine being so unpopular that the writers literally erase you from existence in your own arcade ending. You should have gone for the head. And even worse, they have you do it to yourself. Your character isn't assassinated, nor do they die in some epic battle. Nope, Netherrealm literally told Jackie to end herself. Out of all the characters in Mortal Kombat, Jackie is the least popular. Even Ferator has more fans than she does. But that's not because Jackie is low tier or anything like that. In fact, her gameplay tends to be quite phenomenal. Sadly, the issues for Jackie go much deeper than that. Jackie Briggs is boring. Believe me when I tell you the developers tried everything to save her character. They made her gameplay amazing in Mortal Kombat 11. In fact, at one point, she was the best character in the game. She was so good that pro players were saying nerf her or get her out of the game. She's unfair. And then on top of the gameplay, Netherrealm also gave Jackie a bunch of DLC costumes, pretty much begging you to play the character and give her a chance. The developers truly did want you to love this character. They tried everything. However, despite all of Netherrealm's efforts, Jackie never managed to escape her father's shadow. So today, let's discuss the most boring character Netherrealm has ever made, and possibly the most most boring character in Mortal Kombat history. And I want to get one thing straight, the combat kids are a meme, tons of players rip on them and roast them all the time on a daily basis. And there's honestly a very fair reason why the community does this, at the end of the day the combat kids are ripoffs, or rather they're knockoffs, kind of like store brand soda, right? You have Dr. Pepper and then you have Dr. Thunder, that's the combat kids, they're Dr. Thunder. Hey gamers, do you love Kung Lao? Well here's his cousin, do you love him? Oh well actually he's his nephew now because the writers forgot or something, but hey he's still a shallow and Monk and he has Kung in his name so don't you love him because he's like Kung Lao? I mean he's close enough right? Don't you love him? No? Okay fine. Well how about we combine two characters instead? Do you love Johnny Cage or Sonya Blade? Well say hello to their biggest accident. They didn't want a kid but hey she defeated Shinnok and she saved the world so there you go. Sometimes the best results aren't planned or even wanted. Also she chews bubblegum and listens to the Mortal Kombat theme before a match. Cute outfit. Looks better on me. Hmm, they seem to like this character more than Kung Jin, so I think combining two characters is the way to go. How about we combine Scorpion and Kenshi to create... And then we have Jackie, aka Baby Jax. And that's it. No, seriously, she's just Jax. When she first got introduced in Mortal Kombat X, there was nothing else to her character. She's the daughter of Jax, and she even fights like him. She has metal gauntlets, and she loves to punch stuff. In fact, she's even enlisted in the military, just like Jax, which in hindsight was a terrible decision. Especially when you check out her concept art. Just look at all these amazing designs. Behold how different Jackie could have been from her father. If only Netherrealm had the courage to go with any of these designs instead of just taking Jax, making him smaller and a lady. Jackie Briggs had the chance to be a truly unique character in both gameplay and design, but sadly Netherrealm chickened out. Instead of going with any of these amazing designs, they took the easy way out and just said, well, she's Jax's kid, so let's make her just like Jax. And when it comes to character design, you don't want to pick the simple and safest option because you end up with milk toast. And listen, I know for a fact there are some Jackie Briggs fans watching this video, so I'm asking you sincerely, can you think of anything in Mortal Kombat X that makes Jackie different from her father? Because honestly, the only difference I can think of is that Jackie still has her arms, and thank goodness Netherrealm made that choice, because what would be the odds that Jackie's kid lost her arms in a similar violent fashion? If I were Jax and that happened to my kid, I would think the Elder Gods had it out for me, so thankfully Jackie still has all of her limbs. Although honestly, in a messed up way, that makes her even less interesting, because for Jax, it's very compelling how he lost his arms but still found a way to fight and serve his country and protect Earthrealm. In fact, it's mentioned in Mortal Kombat X that Jax actually made the metal arms him himself, which is amazing. He's almost like Iron Man in a way. I believe he made the arms in advance for any soldiers that got injured, and that soldier just happened to be him. And believe it or not, I don't think that was the case in the previous Mortal Kombat games. I think that may be a Netherrealm change, where Jax actually made the arms that he uses, and if so, good job Netherrealm. I know you guys get roasted all the time for your writing decisions, but I gotta say, that was a good call to have Jax actually make the arms that he uses. Because once again, it makes him feel like Iron Man. He doesn't just wear the suit, he also made the suit, because he's that smart. But anyway, this video is not about Jax, it's about his daughter, who sadly hasn't designed anything cool. All of her stuff I'm pretty sure was also made by her dad. Or at the very least, it was made by the special forces, so once again, this character is very boring and bland. And that likely is why she's very unpopular. Whenever anybody does a poll on the most popular combat kid, she's always in last place. Or sometimes she's tied with Kung Jin, but honestly, I think Kung Jin's more interesting because at the very least, his fight style is completely different. Literally nobody else in the game fights with a bow and arrow, in fact, I think he might be 
be the only Mortal Kombat character ever to fight with a bow and arrow in that manner. And then on top of that, he can enhance it, he has amazing acrobatics thanks to his Shaolin monk heritage, he's honestly a pretty unique character despite his very ununique name. And that's why I do think he's honestly more creative and original than Jackie Briggs. In fact, even the comics didn't do her any credit. I think in the Mortal Kombat X comics, Jackie is just Cassie Cage's friend. And that's all she is for the entire run of the comics. She never gets separated or has her own arc, nothing like that. She's always just Cassie Cage's friend. And you know what? I have to say it. In Mortal Kombat X, Jackie was one of the most hated characters for her gameplay because the keep away was ridiculous. She had this one move that fired a bunch of projectiles, which meant it broke armor and was really tough to jump over and it recovered pretty quick. So she could just keep doing it over and over again and even meter burn it for more damage. In fact, this move is so annoying and broken that I've included it in several of my past videos. So I'm not going to reiterate too much here. But now it's finally time to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 because in this game, Netherrealm tried absolutely everything to make this character cool and as different from Jax as they could. Even though she still has the metal arms, her fighting style has changed completely. She is now a master of kickboxing and even sports a Muay Thai stance. And I'm not going to lie, it still looks really cool. And like I mentioned earlier, her gameplay was phenomenal. Jackie's damage was ridiculous when the game first came out and she was very fast. And even though sometimes a character is strong by accident, I can guarantee you that was not the case here. Netherrealm was definitely pushing this character hard. They wanted you to love her as a combat kid. And with good reason, because they left out half the combat kids. We don't have Kung Jin or Takeda in Mortal Kombat 11, which is insane because Takeda was the most popular by far. But I digress. My point is the combat kids have been cut in half, which means the two remaining have to be really good. And as a result, the Jackie Briggs has to step it up. And that's why I think Netherrealm made her so godlike. And unfortunately, she did get nerfed a little bit. Her damage was reduced and she lost one of her best moves in the entire game, which I think was unnecessary. However, remember how earlier I said Jackie's keep away was annoying and everyone hated her for it? Well, Netherrealm did a complete 180 in the next game. All of her projectiles were pretty much gone. Jackie Briggs was no longer a keep away character. Instead, you had to get in the opponent's face and do damage and apply pressure constantly, which was way more fun to watch. And I definitely think it did make players like her character a bit more, aside from the fact that she was really good at the highest level of play. And that's especially true for Variation 3. This build was so good that players were begging for her to be nerfed or removed from the game, especially at the tournament level. And just in case you don't play this game or don't watch my channel, I have several videos explaining why this build was so hated in the pro community. To keep it simple, Jackie had this move where she leapt through the air, and then once she was up there, she could rain hell down from above, and you had to deal with it, and almost no character could counter it. And then Jackie would fall down and keep the combo going, or go for more mix-ups if you blocked the gunshots from above. And keep in mind, this jump went really far, pretty much full screen, which meant Jackie could avoid any keep away and just get in, fire from above, and then force you to deal with mix-ups when she landed. Or if she hit you, she got really good combos. And that's because Mortal Kombat 11 has Breakaway, which is a horrible version of Combo Breaker that only works if your character is knocked off their feet. But here's the thing, Jackie's combos keep you standing the whole time, which means all the damage is 100% guaranteed. So yeah, this new variation made Jackie even more busted. I'm not sure if I mentioned it yet, but she didn't get this variation right away. It came out way later after the game had been released. And thankfully at a certain point, Netherrealm did nerf the move, but at that point it was too late and the damage had been done. People hated this character again, but for a whole new reason than Mortal Kombat X. Instead of being a keep away god, she was now a rushdown monster. So players still hated her, but just for a different reason. And here's the thing, even though Netherrealm made this character really, really good, she's still considered really boring by most of the players. And I think I know why. Jackie Briggs doesn't have a character arc. She really doesn't. She has her own chapter in story mode, but it doesn't have any compelling reasoning to it. Don't get me wrong, it is cute to see Jax interact with his daughter and vice versa, but it does almost nothing for Jackie's character. I mean, for Pete's sake, the developers had her beat an elder god in a fight, and I'm not even impressed. I'm a bit confused, disappointed, and honestly a bit mad that that happened. And keep in mind, I love playing this character. I'm rooting for Jackie, but even as much as they pushed her in the story mode, it didn't do anything for me. I don't care that she beat an elder god. It doesn't feel earned or logical. At the end of the day, despite everything the developers tried, Jackie really is the most boring character in Netherrealm history. However, once again, I'm calling on the Jackie Briggs fans in the comments section. Let me know what you think is so unique about Jackie or what makes her so compelling to you as a character. Help me understand how she's different from Jax in any considerable way or how her story is really interesting or adds to the plot of Mortal Kombat as a whole. Looking back on it, part of me almost wishes that Jackie was an entirely new character and not related to Jax in any way. Imagine if she had been from Outworld instead, but still a member of the Special Forces. How cool would that be? How 
interesting would that be for an Outworlder to fight on Earthrealm's side in the Special Forces? And I just thought of that, it's not even scripted. I understand that Netherrealm wants to have a diverse cast of characters, but I truly do think it's probably better to just replace Jackie than to keep going with her. Because they really did try everything, and it didn't work. They made her the best friend of the fan-favorite character, they gave her amazing gameplay in the sequel, and nothing really seemed to work. But hey, I hope you enjoyed the video regardless. If you did, please leave a like down below, it really does help my channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell, that way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs. Thank you